नमस्कार महर्षिका नमस्कार लुइसा आई जस्ट वांटेड टू आस्क अबाउट म्यूजिक एंड आर्ट समटाइम्स व्हेन आई लिसन टू द एक्सेप्शनल म्यूजिक आई फील अपलिफ्टेड एंड जॉयफुल बट आल्सो अ सेंस ऑफ लॉन्गिंग एंड पेन समटाइम्स इट फील्स लाइक आई वांट टू immerse myself in the music but it becomes almost unbearable <clears throat> when we are re- recipients of art such as music or painting or sculpture when we engage with the artwork uh, are we in a present moment or more in a cosmic state beyond the body or or maybe my reaction is something else it depends very much on the posture of the person or group of people who create that art let's take music if you have music which is performed to awaken emotions but is performed by someone who is also in that emotion because it's not really possible to create great music of a certain genre unless you are involved in it you take a very romantic ballad that ballad is created by someone who is themselves susceptible to the emotions that create that ballad most of the time if they are not then the music will not contain that authenticity so if they are creating a ballad it is generally created from the emotional layer of consciousness the emotional realm let's say so there's this guy sitting there and he's playing his guitar and he's singing his ballad and then you're listening to it and it suddenly just touches you very deeply down in the emotional because he's authentic so the entire emotional realm of consciousness is moved by that if you are someone who wants to maintain balance in your system you would not feel too comfortable about that because you would experience it as being extremely emotional causing deep emotional waves within you and you would feel uncomfortable about it because you're looking to widen your consciousness and to maintain balance between all these six different realms of consciousness a lot of the new age um experimental music is conceptual in nature a lot of the electronic music is conceptual in nature listening to that actually creates waves in the thinking you won't start thinking but you won't have emotions you won't have a really strong physical response to it it'll be more that the mind itself is impacted by that so if you're a person who thinks a lot you will think unless of course you you are on on some chemical or the other that's a different story but you would be listening to that music and although people say that they go into trance states the conceptual is so impacted by that kind of music that it it leaves the body let's put it that way that's the description because it's the easiest way to understand it so you're out of the body that kind of music at one point leads people to distancing themselves from their bodies and that would be the unpleasant part of such music for a person who's seeking balance and presence then you can also have very physical music like the you know the drum beats like the african drum beats and what that does is it it moves the physical i mean you cannot sit still if you listen to those those drums beating and there is a point at which a system which is seeking balance and is seeking to be balanced on that entire spectrum of consciousness will feel that something is pulling it too much into the physical if you go beyond that there's also transformative music and there's also unity consciousness music like bhajans like there are these these bhajans that just after about 10 or 15 minutes you're just out you're spacing out and your system if you're seeking to have a balance along the spectrum of consciousness will not be too happy about that either a little bit of bhajans where your eyes are open and you're present yes but the moment you start spacing out that's what happens that kind of music is generally created by people who are spaced out 
it's it's fine if someone wants to be spaced out and that's the path they choose then we embrace that and we we accept it but the teaching here is to be present to be in the body to be to be awake to be aware of the other to be aware above all of the truth impulse within and you cannot be aware of that truth impulse if you're spacing out it's not possible there is also another kind of music which is the pluriform music i would i would say the ragas of classical indian music are pluriform they don't actually pull you out of the system but they create within the listener a sense of almost of being godly and even that if it goes too far will kick you out but it's it happens rarely and the people who create it are themselves like that because you cannot create it if you're not authentically like that the listener will know the difference when you listen to classical indian music to raga and and you tune into something and you don't tune into the other it's because the person that's creating it is not coming from that pluriform state of consciousness but is attempting that kind of music if you want to be in that state of equilibrium then it's okay to listen to all these forms of music but be present you're listening to it you're tuning into it you're aware of it and then you won't be a victim of those emotional ups and downs where your system is shaking because some people who are sensitive their systems shake when they listen to uh, you know very emotional music very sad music the love music of course there are nuances to this entire discourse but uh, perhaps another day yes yeah that's especially divas voices like Mariah Carey and Celine Dion and Amanda Marshall <laughs> but yeah i i i I think I understand it better now. It's really beautiful. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar, Luisa.